I know you said that they didn't really give you a reason, just that they didn't have a partner. Yeah. I do have a theory. Okay. I think maybe you were becoming too big. <laughs> You had too many fans. Uh, what do you think of this theory? I think you just stroked my ego and that felt <laughs> wonderful. Um, I'm, but the, I'm not the only one <laughs> with this theory though. I think, well then I challenge that with saying what about Val? You okay. Know, you know what I mean? I think Val equally has his fan base mm -hmm. and is a, no, a known name on the show and also any of them really. But Val and I think have been around the longest out, other than Cheryl. And Cheryl. And also, I challenge you, that was Cheryl. So whilst that feels really good to me, right, in right about here, mm -hmm. uh, and strokes my ego and makes me want to smile, I think wonderful, but probably not. Okay. And then we don't think it's budget either. Can't be budget. No. I wasn't, I was on par with people, definitely not the the most expensive and so, certainly not by an amount that would break the show if they kept me. Yeah. Sharna is speaking out on her surprise Dancing with the Stars exit. What really happened, what's next, and should we expect her in the ballroom this season? It's been a whirlwind. It's been a big whirlwind. That you, is, yeah. Yeah. It's How are good. you? I'm good. I'm doing great. I am equally terrified and excited of all the things that lay ahead of me uh, or possibly lay ahead of me. And I am, you know, currently adjusting to a a new fall season for a me. A new fall season. <laughs> so when one door closes, several doors so open. It, so it seemed. Yeah. I got the um, really super sad phone call that was a is this real life moment for me? I was driving on the freeway on my way to a meeting. I was chatting with our executive producer and I could hear it the minute he got on the phone in his voice. I was like, when was this compared to when the announcement uh, came? It, a day or two before we were supposed to start rehearsal. I believe it was the Friday, but it may have been the Thursday. It was the same day that Adam got the phone call. We were within an hour of each other uh, and we were supposed to go into rehearsals for GMA because I too was getting the texts about be ready for this and mm -hmm. the whatnot. I came back early from a retreat in Sedona just to be make sure that I was ready to do things and they got moved but that happens. Wait right? so up until this point though you really thought I'm gonna be on this season oh, yeah, you were no. excited I yeah. remember you told me yeah. I'm going for back-to-back -back absolutely mirror balls <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah okay that was that was still the plan until this <laughs> phone call happened and I, I spoke to Andrew our executive producer and again I could hear it in his voice from the minute the phone call started and my adrenaline spiked. I'm driving on the freeway and I was like, I need to pull over because I can't focus right now. And so I pulled over and he, he let me know that they, they love me. I'm very much a part of the family of Dancing with the Stars, but they couldn't partner me up with a, a partner this season. And what'd you say when he said that? I honestly was in shell shock. I was still pr trying to process. Yeah. It was a real, am I dreaming? moment because it was such a shock to me. There was no hint that this would be the case. And there never is, by the way. We, we all go through the same thing every season. We don't know if we're back until we get that pickup letter. And I've been sitting pretty comfortable for a while. And you know, maybe- Well, you're a fan favorite. I mean, truly a thank fan you. favorite. I thank you. We have incredible fans. I think we have a lot of fan favorites on the show. and. And it's still a beautiful, wonderful cast, uh, but it was a it was a very surprising phone call for mm. me. But at the same time, I, I got off that phone call and I was very sad, and I had to process, take a few minutes, get back on the freeway and go to this meeting. And I walked into this meeting with someone I'm actually developing another show concept with, and then who also said, "Awesome, I have two other shows that I want to talk to you about." And I was like, "Okay, universe, I hear you." There are some other things that I need to try right now. You're mm -hmm. opening up space for me to do this. I wouldn't have had these opportunities had I have not had the last eight and a half years with this beautiful show, Dancing with the Stars. Right. Okay, I'm ready. I've been I've been challenged. I've, the universe said, put your money where your mouth is. Now yeah. let's go do the things you talk about. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did they ever give you any sort of reason? Honestly, no. Not beyond we couldn't partner you up this season. And what's tough about hearing that is... I have a dance with everyone from Andy Dick to Bobby Bones to a Backstreet Boy. There is no type. Right. So, and it has nothing to do with height and it has nothing to do with anything. So for whatever reason, the, the people in the room that decide who's on the cast felt that I wasn't what they wanted for this version of the show. And that's okay. Right, because the, the team in there has changed. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can love you. Not everybody's gonna vibe with you. Maybe they don't want a redhead this season. You know, there's three blondes and three brunettes, I think. Maybe I 
stick out like a sore thumb and they don't want that. Or maybe it's that my choreography they kind of got bored with. Who knows? And it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I'm never going to know the real reason behind it. And it's, to be honest, irrelevant. It's happened. I'm here. I've been given an opportunity of 12 months of other adventures. Yeah. And who knows what's going to happen next year, whether they want me back or they don't, or is this the end? I have honestly no idea. That's their call. Have you talked to them about possibly coming back for next season? Do you have a bad taste in your mouth after all of this? I definitely don't have a bad taste, but I am sad. Yeah. I am sad that... For me, if, if hypothetically this was my last season with Bobby, wow, what a wonderful way to go out and having yeah. one with him and, and the friend that I made in him too. But not having the opportunity to know that it was my last season or after so long going on my own terms and being able to go around to all of our crew members and all of our camera guys and everybody in wardrobe, everyone who the last eight and a half years has been my family, has wrangled me when needed to, has yeah. helped me understand, learn over these years. And together we've created this beautiful show. Mm -hmm. I have so much gratitude for every single person with even the follow spot up in the rafters. You know, they, they help you see my face. You yeah. know, without everybody in that room, we don't get to make that show. And so I would have loved that chance to know. And you know, when you just savor every moment, if you know that it's going to be the last of it, that I wish I had a little bit. And I think you deserve that. And I think people are mostly shocked because you are the reigning champ. Like you That is want... wild. I'm not going to, that is wild. But uh, yeah, I don't have an answer for that part. What did Bobby say? Because Bobby told us that he called the him. show to make sure it wasn't his fault. And I know he always gives good advice. He's yeah. a good guy. What have you guys talked about? He's an amazing guy. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's... He did call them. When, <laughs> when we when we briefly spoke, it was like, honestly, I was at a bit of a loss. I don't know. I'm hearing these things. I'm hearing those things. But that's also what I was just seeing on social media, you know. And there's, there's still a train of people that are wild about the fact that Bobby and I won and that we broke the show and we're the reason that there's no spring season. Which is not <laughs> true. But who knows? Again, at the end of the day, I've, I've been given no answer other than they just couldn't pair me up this season. I was gonna ask you if this is the first time that somebody hasn't been asked back after winning. That I don't know. Okay. I know there are people that have done it by choice. I don't know if there was ever anyone that wasn't asked back after winning. Who knows? I even text some of my producers and I was like, am I difficult? Like, what is it? Is, yeah. it, is there something that I've done wrong here in the, my first 24 hours of trying to process this? And they were all like, we love you. You're so good at giving story. You're so easy to work with. You know how to deliver anything that we need and you bring out the best in your partner. So absolutely not, no. Just because I'm not there for the season, I'm not competing, doesn't mean that these guys are any less than my family. I mm. will absolutely go. I will absolutely support. I can't wait to cheer them on in the audience. So you say you're going to be in the ballroom. Are you uh, going to be there yeah. premiere night? I want to. I'm hoping to. There is a something else that I may have to do. Okay. I've, uh, if I can get out in time, I will. If it's not the premiere, because I know Bobby's going and I want to be exactly, there with him. Yeah. But if I can't do that, then it will be the following week. So you're going to be watching this season too? Absolutely. We talked to Artem and he said it's going to be too hard mm. to watch just because of all the emotions and the frustration and maybe that'll change for him as the season progresses. But it's uh, no one's saying it's not going to be hard. You mm. know, even walking into CBS studios or driving into the lot, there is a, there is a loss there because it's been a part of my life for so long that I can't be selfish about that and I can't wallow in that. I can only look at what this show's given me for the last eight and a half years. I can only say thank you and go with gratitude, mm. uh, whether this is the end or not, who knows, but, and give some love back to it as well at the same time, you know, through the people and through supporting for it. There is no animosity from me, there's no shade, there's, there's definitely sadness, yes, but that's yeah. normal, that's gonna happen. I'd yeah. be lying if I said I wasn't sad. No, It'd be terrible if I wasn't sad, actually. Of course. Um, and I'm sad I don't get to give the transformative power of dance to a person for that journey and create all the things, but there are other ways to create all the things. I do want to ask about your lunch with Tom. Ah, my Tom! <laughs> what did he say to you? He was, we had a great catch up and he asked me even, he's like, do you know why? 
is there, is there a reason? I was like, honestly, I've been given no reason. There's nothing that I can tell you. There's, I've asked people, no one can give me an answer. And we were just very, very sad. And we had a, a little chat about some of the controversy. He got caught up in a little bit there. And well, the Sean Spicer. Right? Yeah. Are you a little bit happy you're not paired with Sean? <laughs> I would struggle, regardless of whether you are or are not a supporter of Sean, right? Mm -hmm. Whoever is dancing with him is going to, I mean, I would be terrified to open my social media because people are either for you or against yes. you. And she's going to unfortunately be in that world and she'll post a photo of him and some people are going to love it and some people are going to hate it more so than any other partner yeah. on the show. And I think that whoever his partner is, has a very, very big job ahead of them and mm -hmm. is going to need to be able to separate themselves from other people's opinion of this guy. I would really struggle with that. That would be really, really tough. Any chance that there'll be like a cameo from you, maybe? Has that been talked about? Uh, I would love to, and I certainly wouldn't say no to it either. And if, if it lines up that they want me to and I can, I would love to go and do a little performance for them or choreograph an opening number. I'm, I'm down to do all the things. Well, you just did So You Think You Can Dance mm -hmm. with Artem. Mm -hmm. And there's two more shows. One was actually yesterday, which is a favorite show of mine. I can't say it? it yet until I'm confirmed. I, can't, I don't want to say it. I don't want to put it out there until is it's Is it a show you've done before? No, it's not no. even a dance show. It's a, it's a drama TV series. Looking back at what you have done with dancing, how do you mm -hmm. feel about that journey? Oh my gosh. Uh, it's been epic. Yeah. Like, and I, I struggle to find another word for it. It's um, the last eight and a half years, I've grown into not just a different, a, a, a better version of myself, but my craft and my art and discovering truly, I think this is where I understood the transformative power of dance because mm. it always did it for me. But being able to see that happen for other people, for Noah Galloway, for James Hinchcliffe, for Nick Carter, for there were so many people that went on a journey and discovered things deep inside themselves and worked through them. Bobby Bones as well. It's, it's been such a special thing for me to be able to give that to other people. Is Makes that what proud. you will miss most? Absolutely. I will get to create all the things, whether it is my own show or this or that or someone else's choreo, whatever it is, but it won't ever be that experience that only ever lives on Dancing with the Stars. Mm. And I am, again, eternally grateful I got to do it for eight and a half years. My soul could do it for another eight and a half. You know, you never get over that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's such a beautiful gift, especially when you're an artist and a creator. Before we wrap up, mm. do you have a message to your fans? <gasps> oh, I will get emotional I if mean, I say it, They're though. just so supportive of um, you, and they love you so much. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get emotional saying these things. Um, Thank you so much for all of the love and the support and and the words of how much you miss me and you're defending me like my champions with how, if you feel it's unjust. But what I, I do want to say to you is that it, it is all love and it's all gratitude. And we got a beautiful eight, year, eight and a half years of me being on this incredible show and getting to create and no one has ever said that it's the end. And whether it is that I come back and do another season or not, I'm always going to be putting things out there for you guys. I love and appreciate you all so much. Uh, you're in my heart. I have a vested interest in you all and I'm trying to create things uh, to, to, for you and to help affect change in this world, especially for women. And that's all, that's all things that are coming, but uh, it was all inspired by you guys. And thank you. And even though it hurts and I'm sad to be gone and it's a sore point feeling the love and the energy from all of you certainly does does help and does make it feel better. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I love you.